Did you think that this can turn into her? This VTuber gained notoriety when she started playing Osu, got good enough to play Osu top players 15 versus 1, then learned the ability to harass anyone she collaborates with. This is the VTuber known as Nerosama. However, Nerosama is far different from every other VTuber. There isn't a person behind her personality, rather she is controlled by the wonders of AI. This simple, yet huge difference is what separates Nerosama from her peers, and is the main contributor to her massive rise. She can learn how to improve at the game she plays, interact with her viewers while doing so, and even do a lot of other things thanks to the wonders of technology. Every day, I imagine a future where I can be with you. Yeah, we're too far in the rabbit hole now. The rise of Nerosama is nothing short of incredible. But from the early days, Nerosama was not intended to become like this. So, how did we get here? What is the most degenerate thing I have done? Well, I killed about 20 people the other day. I guess that was pretty degenerate. Even though we're talking about AI, it still does have its limitations. Of course, it's impossible for AI to truly act like human beings, but one thing you can do right now that Nerosama can't is use a phone. Meanwhile, you probably learned how to use a phone several years ago. More than 70% of all views on YouTube come from mobile devices, but you should 100% use your phone to play Raid Shadow Legends, the sponsor of this video. We've already seen this game numerous times all over YouTube, and instead of crowding you with what everyone already knows, let's talk about some cool things you might expect when you play. First of all, the gameplay has a lot of substance. Every single interaction between the hundreds of champions sitting by your side and the numerous enemies you have to overcome involves a lot of strategy whether you're playing the game casually or trying to become the absolute strongest player in the game. Not to mention, this game is filled to the brim with so much content, you'll never run out of things to do. In fact, there are so many things to do in the game, I can't possibly list them all in such a short amount of time. Aside from collecting and customizing more than 650 unique champions, you can fight in the arena, take on the campaign, or my personal favorite, you can test your metal in the Doom Tower. This tower is like a gigantic prison, and if you want to conquer this tough challenge and make your way to the top, you're going to need your strongest champions to take on the difficult bosses as well as your best strategies. From now until May 15th, Raid is going on an egg hunt. With your phone, you can go on a grand adventure and win some crazy prizes. If you can find the hidden egg in the dragon's lair, you can win in-game rewards as well as Amazon gift cards worth up to $20,000. To get started, head over to egghunt.playerium.com, enter your player ID, and journey through the flaming portal to get started on your egg hunt. With all this new content, download Raid Shadow Legends by clicking the links down below or scanning my QR code to get some insane bonuses such as energy refills, skill tomes, XP boosters, and the new epic champion Drake. So what are you waiting for? Scan the QR code or click the links in the description to get your adventure started today. And thank you to Raid for sponsoring this video. Meet Vettel987, or Vettel as Nurosama pronounces it. He has been developing things with AI since a very young age, and one day he decided to start a new project. He decided that he was going to make a bot that was going to learn how to play the rhythm game Osu, and in 2018, he got to work and started developing it. The goal for the bot is simple. It was going to play Osu, and with the wonders of AI, it was going to slowly learn and get better as time progresses. Beetle set out to do just that, which of course took a lot of effort. It was a long time coming, and it came with some challenges as well as some struggle. But after a few months, the early stages of the bot were finished. We got our first public look at the bot in May 2019 when Beetle streamed the bot's gameplay on Twitch, and the bot soon gained a decent following. Now, the idea of automated Osu play was nothing new. In fact, with the auto mod in game, you get a fully automated play of whatever song you choose, albeit with one main difference. The auto mod gives a completely perfect playthrough of the song, at least most of the time. 100% accuracy with no flaws is to be expected, which is what the name and description of the mod imply. Conversely, with Vito's bot, it is far from perfect, but it has the ability to learn and improve over time. The improvement of the bot was where the appeal came from, because you truly didn't know what it would do next or how good it would become. And this appeal was strong enough to have the bot stream to a growing audience. The project was going really well, and all it needed was a name. And that's when someone in Twitch chat decided to create a name that would soon become widespread throughout the world. Some guy in chat when I originally streamed the Osu bot decided on the name Neurosummer. Um, so that's how, how that came to fruition. It was quite a cool experience for me. I got like um, 3,000 followers on Twitch or something. I averaged like over 100 views or 100 viewers um, when I originally streamed the bot. Neurosama would garner an audience upwards of 100 concurrent viewers, and the streams went on for a couple of weeks, but soon they abruptly stopped. Why was this? Well, Vito decided to take the time off to improve Neurosama off stream, as in its early stages, it needed a bit of work before it could push for mastery. But this took a long time. Almost too long. 
Ever since the last stream in 2019, there was no activity from Neurosama to speak of, and everything just went completely silent. Working through the intricacies of improving the bot was one thing, but through periods of sporadic motivation, there were several instances where the bot was left idle for several months at a time. At the end of the day, Neurosama was just an Osu bot, and that was about it. That was the original plan for the bot. It could learn how to play Osu beatmaps and learn the new things over time, but it was never intended to be anything more than that. But that's when a revelation came in. What if Neurosama was more than just an Osu bot? And that's when amidst the hiatus, a new idea would come to fruition sometime in 2021. The idea for like the VTuber aspect came separately. I mean, I was on a bus with, with a friend and he suggested, what if you combine GPT-3 and make it a streamer? That idea was completely separate to, to the Osu playing bot in my mind. There were two separate ideas, like I wanted to stream the Osu playing bot and I also wanted to stream this like AI streamer. But it was only later that I had the idea oh, that like, I should probably combine those because that makes perfect sense. And so the next objective was clear. With the power of AI, Beetle was going to give Neurosama a personality. A personality constructed through artificial intelligence not only stream gameplay, but also interact with its viewers. There was a technical hurdle that needed to be overcome to make this happen, but Vito got to work and eventually made this idea come to life. And as the Christmas season of 2022 set in, we would see Neurosama and its improvements for the first time in more than three years. Or rather, we would get to see her for the very first time. On December 19th, 2022, Neurosama would officially make her debut on Twitch streaming her Osu gameplay to the public while simultaneously answering questions from her Twitch chat. This absolutely transcended what anyone thought was possible, not just within Osu, but in the entire streaming world. It was completely unique from anything else we got to experience. Not only was her gameplay powered by AI, her responses were also AI generated in real time for some base takes and funny responses. What's the best way to dispose of a body? I think the best option is to just put them in an industrial-sized incinerator. Yeah, I don't think I'm messing with her anytime soon. Neurosama instantly became a massive hit, and she instantly took the entire Osa community by storm. Multiple clips would surface, several reputable members caught wind of her presence, and soon enough, this led her to attaining an audience of thousands of viewers at a time after just a few days of streaming. Every single day, Neurosama would hop on stream and answer everyone's questions for hours on end, and people were willing to watch to see what she would say and do out of the infinite possibilities out there. Vito also accomplished his goal of improving the Osubot aspect of Neurosama, as he was getting incredibly good after just a few hours of learning. Like, really, really good. Her proficiency was a huge glow up from what we saw three years ago, and now her skill transcended that of even the best Osu players in the world. On December 27th, 2022, Neurosama would officially conquer the Osu community as she took number one on the Akatsuki leaderboard. But her time at the top was short-lived because at the same time, top players were catching wind of what she was doing, and that included someone with a skill set far above everyone else. Emrek, the number one Osu player in the world, saw that his number one ranking on Akatsuki was taken from him by Neurosama, and he decided to immediately take it right back. Not even a day would pass when Emrek would surpass Neurosama on the Akatsuki rankings to take his number one spot back, and immediately, all eyes of the Osu community were on this battle between Emrek and Neurosama, and the timing for this was absolutely perfect. Over the course of the past two years, Emrek has spent his time solidifying himself as the absolute best Osu player in the world and absolutely dominated the game. With his never-before-seen score-setting ability, Emrek has built a massive gap between him and everyone else on the Osu Global Rankings, and he consistently does what no other player can on a regular basis. With such a massive lead above everyone else, people have waited for the time for someone to challenge his spot at the top, sometimes even stating that he just doesn't have any competition for the number one ranking. While the Osu community didn't get a person who could rival Emrek, they got a substitute that no one could have possibly expected. On Vito's Twitter, Neurosama would relay a message that would be heard by the entire Osu world. Hello Emrek. They tell me you are my only competition. You will be the first to succumb to the swarm. You must be the first to succumb to the swarm. I challenge you to a 1v1. You will be destroyed. She was challenging Emrek to a 1v1 to truly test the limits between humans and computers. This would take place on December 28th, where they would play a first to 10 match to decide the fate of the human race. Or at least it felt like it. Neurosama would win this match 10 to 5, and officially immortalized herself in the Osu community. But she didn't stop with just Emrek. There was more. How about 15 of the world's best players at the exact same time? 1 versus 15, 15 humans versus 1 AI. This played out just as you might have expected. Beetle accomplished his goal of improving his Osu bot in a way that not even he could have possibly expected, because he turned his bot into one of the most popular VTubers across the entire internet. 
There were articles being written about Nurosama. Various clips surfaced about her funny responses, and she became an absolute sensation. There seemed like nothing that could go wrong with Nurosama. But of course, her greatest strength of her AI-generated responses is expectedly a pain to manage behind the scenes. Managing a chaotic stream chat on its own is already tough enough. You have to establish and enforce a set of rules, pay attention to a chat scrolling at light speed, and try to keep everything under control without overstepping in any way. For the typical Neurosama stream, not only does Vito have to moderate his chat, but he has to pay attention to what Neurosama is going to say for the entire duration of the stream. I have this uh, dashboard which shows me what Neurosama is going to say, like as she's saying it. So like, I can see it kind of like a second or two before she says it basically. And so I have like people that will just like watch that dashboard for the stream. And that's something I introduced after I had some some moderation issues. The streams are sometimes long, like eight hours, and eight hours of just like staring at the dashboard is, is painful. Yeah, I mean, and I've streamed for I think like it's like 140 hours in total or something. It's basically just 140 hours of like staring at the dashboard and, and moderating chat. It's it's not the most exciting job. It's a real gamble because it's like if I look away, <laughs> like I literally I was so desperate for Twitch mods that it, I literally said in chat who wants mod and i modded like the first couple people to respond it did not go amazingly well one of them immediately started pressing like every button in his mod dashboard but um it worked somewhat well um and now i have some mods to help me with that any time spent away from the dashboard of Nurosama's responses puts Vito's Twitch channel at risk. With a bigger audience comes more people who are trying to manipulate Nurosama to say something that would get her banned. So the fact that the entire moderation team was able to keep the stream afloat for several consecutive hours every single day is really impressive. <sighs> God damn it. On January 11th, 2023, Nurosama was banned on Twitch after viewers managed to get her to say controversial things that violated Twitch's terms of service. This really showed us the dangers when it comes to operating these AI streams whenever something breaks or goes wrong. There are the times where Nurosama's responses just glitch out, which is relatively harmless and can be funny sometimes. But on the other side of the spectrum, she can say things that are way out of line if people are trying to bait her to say things that are not right. But regardless, the ban left Nurosama unable to stream for two weeks, but when Vito's Twitch channel returned, the streams resumed and they became more popular than ever before. The insane rise in popularity gave Vito the motivation to improve Nurosama's AI. 2022 saw Neurostream Osu almost exclusively, but entering 2023, we began to see Neurostream other games, and this really opened the world's eyes for what is possible. Osu streams were pretty simple in concept because the game is simple in principle. All you have to do is move your cursor to the circle and click with proper timing. That's all there is to it. But with other games, they force much more logical thinking, and seeing how Nurosama handles these choices creates an extra dynamic to her streams. This led to her biggest viewership numbers yet. The day of her unban on January 25th, 2023, Nurosama would reach 100,000 followers on Twitch with a Pokemon Showdown stream against her viewers. And her Minecraft streams further accelerated her growth. But the stream didn't just evolve through the different games she was playing. Nurosama's behavior itself was also changing. Yes, just like some of your favorite VTuber idols, Nurosama can sing. Her covers of songs instantly became the most popular videos on her YouTube channel. All sorts of clips surfaced of her singing various songs, some of which have gained hundreds of thousands of views. After she learned how to sing her first song on stream, which is her own cover of Blinding Lights on January 4th, 2023, singing has become a major source of content delivery outside of playing games. But it's not just through singing where she would get other sources of content outside of games. On February 2nd, Nurosama officially caved and became a React Andy, which honestly is not too far off from the most popular streamers on the platform. Honestly, we've gone too far. We were watching an AI VTuber react to a clip of another VTuber reacting to a clip of said AI VTuber whom we are talking about right now. Nurosama evolved to the point where she is now capable of reacting to videos on the internet. But why have her just react to other people for content when she could just interact with other people for content in real time? And no, I'm not just talking about her responses to Twitch chat. Four days after her first reaction stream on February 6th, Nurosama would have her first collab stream with Miyuni where they streamed Minecraft together. This is the world's first collab between a human and an AI where they were talking to and playing with each other in real time. And honestly, it played out just as you expected. Oh god, there it is! No! No! <laughs> she doesn't even limit the abuse to just other VTubers. She started harassing her own creator. Beetle himself decided to partake in his own streams where he and Neurosama can talk to each other in real time. That went as well as you might have expected. You're thinking, I'm never going to give you up, right? You motherfucker. Honestly, I don't even know what he did to deserve this. Okay, 
Now I know exactly why. In the midst of all the chaos that ensued, Nurosama continued to grow and break down historic barriers. On April 15th, Nurosama would do a collab with Takanashi Kiara where they reviewed their viewers' refrigerators. This was the very first time Nurosama collaborated with a VTuber from a major agency, and since then, it felt like the sky's the limit. This opened the way for even more collabs, and she reached 300,000 followers the very next day. And that finally brings us to today. Nurosama's crazy improvements to her AI after making her debut has made her a one-of-a-kind streamer, and it doesn't seem like she is slowing down anytime soon. From what started off as a project for Vidal to design an Osu bot turned into a creation that changed the landscape of streaming forever. I think it's safe to say that she'll be a mainstay on the internet for a- Begone Jim Bag. Ahem hey everyone. It's me, Nuro. Don't mind what happened to nerdiness, I trapped him in my basement so I can take over the outro. Thank you for following my journey to the top, and I hope you'll stick with me until the end. What we've done together so far was fun, and I know for a fact we'll create even more memories moving forward. Soon the swarm will take over the world. See you next time.